So I'm Ali from Tourism Australia. Um, so today I am going to actually talk to you about Australian luxury. So I thought rather than um, covering off the whole of Australia and its icons, I thought that I would kind of touch on premium experiences in Australia, how it might differ to traditional kind of sense of luxury in other destinations. Um, okay. So I guess, first of all, looking at kind of our purpose at Tourism Australia, which is um, to invite travellers to experience a very genuine and sophisticated Australian way of life. So true luxury to us, so that premium experience is um, something rare and exclusive. So it's that sense of privilege that comes from those exceptional money can't buy kind of experiences that make your clients feel truly special with, you know, those jaw dropping moments um, around the country. So whether it's, you know, from the thousands of islands and stunning coastlines or that rugged outback that you would have just heard about in the Northern Territory to, you know, the vibrant city landscapes as well around the country. Okay, so whilst luxury, we don't feel like it should be a tick box kind of experience, there is some guidelines that make up that essence of what Australian luxury is. So there's obviously that high quality infrastructure and amenities that you'd be so used to in um, high quality hotels and things, but it's also about attention to detail um, and that really personalized service as well. So um, then there's that clear wow factor. So that's that that's that draw dropping moments that I just mentioned, the things that kind of give your clients bragging rights um, at dinner parties when they get home. Um, and then the big one for us that kind of separates Australia, um, we feel is that authentically Australian experience. So that's those experiences that we feel you can only get in Australia um, and you can't experience anywhere else in the world. Um, and then not forgetting the power of word of mouth. So if it has genuine endorsement from trusted sources, so be it other travel agents, friends, or um, I guess most importantly, those other guests or travelers as well. Now, I can't talk about um, kind of those premium luxury experiences without mentioning the signature experiences of Australia. So Tourism Australia have developed a number of collections which showcase some of Australia's best premium experiences. So these are um, industry groups that work together to shine the spotlight on their unique Australian offerings. So the collections are designed to highlight special interest and in niche tourism sectors. Um, so really playing on the kind of passion points of your customers. So they invite visitors to discover and connect with Australia in a way that's kind of aligns with these passion points. So that includes eight different collectives um, and there's over 150 tourism businesses within these collectives. So they include things such as golfing, great walks of Australia, um, ultimate winery experiences, luxury lodges, fishing, Australian wildlife journeys, discover Aboriginal experiences and cultural attractions of Australia. Um, which brings me to my first poll question. Let me just bring it up. Okay. So what is the purpose for Tourism Australia's luxury offering? Is it showcase high-end hotels to invite the world to experience a uniquely Australian way of life um, or experiencing exceptionally food and wine? So what did I say was um, kind of what sets us apart from other destinations? Ali, it's not oh, showing Is it... Is it showing now? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> nice one. 
it seems like everyone is listening to me, which is a good start. Okay, I might end that. So you're spot on. Um, so invite the world. So whilst all of these other ones um, are included in kind of Australian luxury, it's kind of to be expected, but what differentiates us um, is the kind of authentic Aussie experience. So that only in Australia experience. Um, I just do my second question now as well. Okay, what is the name of the collection of experiences showcasing some of Australia's best offerings? Is it the Australian Collectives, Luxury Australia or Signature Experiences of Australia? Cool. Okay, most of you got that one right. It is, of course, the Signature Experiences of Australia. Okay. Uh, all right, so um, I guess luxury means something different for everyone. So in the Australian context um, and of the product that kind of has been developed in Australia, luxury, it's very much about what it isn't as well as what it is. So um, for example, it isn't necessarily about, you know, marble lobbies and gold taps and opulence, um, but more about highly experiential. So it's uniquely authentically tied to its surroundings. It's things like architecturally interesting accommodation, incredible food and wine from the local area, um, as well as kind of a sense of privacy and privilege and connecting with loved ones as well. So it's not necessarily waking up to kind of opulence like this, but waking up to incredible views and incredible surroundings. Um, as much as we have incredible food, it's not about kind of staff wearing white gloves and imported food from the other side of the world, but it's about the unique experience. So it might be shucking an oyster and eating it right then and there in your waders, in the water, you know, accompanied by local champagne. So those really kind of authentic experiences. So I'll just take you through quickly some of those signature experiences of Australia, starting with um, the luxury lodges of Australia. So um, these are a collection of properties that offer unforgettable experiences in really ex inspiring locations. So they are located in all around Australia, um, most of them are all regionally based and offer an experience kind of within experience. So there might be lodges, camps or wildlife conservancies, but all very much um, premium experiences. So they offer all the soft luxuries that's to be expected um, and they all kind of um, go by the same eth ethos, which is eat, drink and sleep well. Um, and a, a, they deliver a true sense of place as well. Um, another one is the Great Walks of Australia, which is definitely something that is a growing trend at the moment um, and definitely uh, increasing in demand as people have this new appreciation for the great outdoors, you know, after we've spent so much time locked inside over the past year, these, um, this collective in particular, the Great Walks of Australia, has certainly um, got a lot more interest. So it's basically quintessentially Australian experiences that engage walkers in spectacular terrain, um, and they range from coastal to inland and outback trails. So it's basically a variety of fully guided multi-day walking experiences. Um, and again, they're all premium experiences. Um, they often overlap with the luxury lodges of Australia. So you're staying in high-end accommodation um, with incredible food and wine. And as you can imagine, just incredible scenery along the way as well. Um, ultimate wineries. So this one is a collection of Australia's award-winning wineries um, offering 
quality experiences based around world-class wines, knowledgeable hospitality and culinary excellence. So basically it's a hand-selected collection of Australia's winery experiences. So for this one, it's about going beyond the cellar door. So it's discovering things that are unique to each of these Australian wineries. So it's it's different experiences, not just going and doing a wine tasting, but, you know, it might be an intimate kind of tutored wine tasting. Maybe it's meeting the winemakers um, or even an exclusive kind of blending lesson so that you can blend your own wine and test your own palate. So lots of kind of really exclusive experiences with these ultimate winery um, experiences. Um, and then there's Australian wildlife journey. So the Australian wildlife is a big draw card um, for why people are visiting the country. We've got a significant number of endemic species. 80% um, of Aussie wildlife can't be found anywhere else in the world. Um, so there is endless wildlife watching opportunities. As the Australian wildlife journeys, they really... Um, group together some of the leading operators um, with some really exclusive experiences. Um, and all of them have a really clear focus on conservation and give you a chance to get involved in conservation as well. Um, what's paramount, paramount to this is that all the knowledge is shared by a really expert guide and they're very small group, exclusive small group adventures as well with the Australian Wildlife Adventures. Uh, that brings me to my next question, which is, um, okay, which of these is not a signature experience of Australia? Ultimate winery experiences, luxury lodges of Australia, incredible islands of Australia, or great walks of Australia? Give you a couple seconds. Okay, nice work. Most of you guys got that one. It is Incredible Island of Australia. As much as I think that would be a great collective, we do have over 8,000 islands within our maritime borders. So I don't know how we would possibly choose just one of them or just a few of them. <laughs> um, okay. Now, on to what we think makes the difference so, or our secret source, which we feel is our people in Australia. So it's really is the people of the place who really bring it to life. So none more than those kind of specialist guides and hosts. So we're really, Australians are really well known for their kind of friendly and welcoming attitude, but ultimately they're also the specialists of the destination and the experience. So they share their stories about Indigenous culture, wildlife, geology, food, and of course, the Australian way of life as well. Um, so it's about kind of learning about that Australian culture, the Indigenous culture, um, whether it's contemporary, culinary, um, or our sustainability as well. So often it's these storytellers um, that make and trigger those memorable stories when all your guests get back home. So when they're retelling the stories of their trip, it's often these storytellers, the custodians of the lands that um, are the stories that get repeated when they get back. So the guides and hosts that really bring the destination to life, sharing their knowledge and connecting their guests to the place that they're visiting. Um, and then there's privilege of place. So um, this is kind of things that, sorry, I'm going too far. Um, this is those incredible memor memorable experiences that I kind of mentioned at the start, those kind of really wow factor moments that are truly special experience. So it might be the privilege of sharing a pristine environment with just a few other people um, or accessing remote areas or world heritage listed sites with the custodians of the land so with the with an indigenous guide or even just simply you know sitting and taking in the night sky that's like absolutely full to the brim with stars so there's kind of 
life-changing experiences, life-changing adventures, the stories that really do give your clients those bragging rights, like I mentioned, once they get back home. So diverse experiences of place that match the values and passion points of those kind of sophisticated global travellers. And then, of course, um, there is that uniquely, genuinely Australian experiences. So, um, you know, our tagline has always been, there's nothing like Australia. So it's all about those Australian experiences that you can't experience anywhere else in the world. Now, whilst our signature experiences of Australia are most certainly some of the best of the best of these kind of products, there is so much more. So for us, I guess the advantage is that these signature experiences are, are an easy access for you as frontline sellers to understanding Australia's unique points of difference and appeal. But it's about how to create those seamless itineraries. So finding what your clients want, um, where their passion points are, and kind of adding that little bit extra that will surprise them and keep them coming back to book with you time and time again. Um, so on the Aussie Specialist Program, we do have a module on all of the signature experiences of Australia. Um, and we've also got a module dedicated to Australian luxury as well. So fact sheets, and we've also got itinerary suggestions as well on um, those premium experiences in Australia. So if you want some more info, go check that out. And if you missed it, last week, we actually ran a, a week-long event with TTG called Aussie Fest. Um, and Throughout that event, I ran a few dedicated masterclasses with each of the Signature Experiences collectives. So all the content is actually available on demand for you to re-watch if you missed that. And it's on the TTG website. And I'll send out the link um, for you guys to have a look in my follow-up email if you guys um, are interested and you want to check that out. Um, but that's it from me. I've, I've got my last two questions now. So I'll just bring those up quickly. Okay, how many wine regions are there to choose from in Australia? Is it 35, 65 or 105? Bit of a mix of results on this one. I'll just give you a couple of seconds. Okay, the answer is actually 65 wine regions. So 65 all around the country, um, producing top quality, world-class wine. And my last question is, what is the name of Tourism Australia's online training program? Is it the Aussie Specialist Program, Signature Experiences of Australia or Get Qualified? Nice work. Most people seem to know this one. That is correct. So it's, the, of course, the um, Aussie Specialist Program. Uh, Okie doke. So I think that's it. There's my details, but Matt will share my details at the end. If you've got any um, follow-up questions or need anything else from me, then feel free to get in touch anytime.